I'm going to show you some cool things that you can do with Google's AI generating tool named Gemini. So it's similar to ChatGPT, but it's on the Google side. So if you go to gemini.google.com, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. Right now, our students cannot use it. We have it marked in our district for 18 and up. Uh, that may change at some point. But for right now, the kiddos cannot get here. They'll get blocked. But you as a teacher can. And it's a great tool for creating resources. Um, we've talked about Magic School AI and School AI and some other tools. This is one that's just really easy to go to if you want some text. You can even do images. You can do a lot of little things with it. But for an example, if I were a third grade teacher and I wanted a reading selection, maybe informational text and maybe a quiz, I can come to Gemini and generate all that for me. I don't have to go to Teachers Pay Teachers and get some something that somebody else wrote and made quizzes. I can do it spur of the moment on anything. So you could be having this great conversation about, it's that time of year again, like daylight savings time in your classroom. You go to Gemini and you just say, I am a third grade teacher. Uh, create an informational writing sample about daylight savings time for a third grade student. Okay. I can just hit the enter button and it will create some informational texts about this written at their level. So it's at a third grade reading level. So you can even change this later and, and that's something we can explore. But maybe you think that's a great prompt and that's great. So you copy this, you put it in a document, but then you also need a quiz for it. So now I'm going to say now create a three question quiz. Hit enter. So it's going to take the information that I was just searching. I'm going to continue that conversation into three questions. So now I can take these and create a Google form with it or something like that. I can export this into mail or into a document to make it really easy. Then I can make a quiz out of it however I want. I could also say um, maybe I want to make a really cool document with this text, but I need some frilly kind of daylight savings time pictures. Create an image showing daylight. I'm the only person I know that cannot type. Savings time. Hit enter. Create an image. Give it a couple seconds. And it'll give you some samples. <laughs> Not sure why that is, but maybe you could say um, create an image showing a calendar and daylight savings time. So you can be as descriptive as you want with these images. You can keep creating more prompts until you get exactly what you want. So you could add edit, change, whatever you want until you get exactly what you want. Um, it's a great tool just for doing some basic conversions. And maybe you had this text right here and you thought, well, this is a little too easy. I could say make this text at the sixth grade level. Now it's taking that text and adding more information to it. Um, doesn't look that much different in this case, but here, let's try something here. Make this text at the ninth grade reading level. So now we've taken that text, expanded it, and made it with higher vocabulary words. So there's a lot more you can do with this. Um, this is just scratching the surface, but it is a great way to quickly do something, especially if you're having one of those in-class conversations that suddenly went in the right direction, but you don't have any materials to support it or maybe some background reading information, you can easily do that. Now, one more thing that's good about this, the reason that Gemini is something you might want to use over ChatGPT or something is 
right now I have all this text that Google created with its AI interface, but you want to make sure that it is in fact true because we know that AI is not always perfect. By clicking this little G and I Google it, it will tell me where it got the information from. So you can verify some of the sites that were used and maybe you'll see something like, oh, that is not accurate. You can see why. So it's important that you do know that you can verify what AI is saying. So explore some of these other tools. If you, if you got a good summary from it, you hit this. It just lets Google know things are going well. There are some um, settings here where you can make it shorter, still the same content level. You can even change the the way it's spoken. So more casual means it's more um, like normal where more professional is going to be a much more professional voice to your text. So there's lots of things you can do with it. It's just a great quick and easy tool to kind of make something quick and use it on the fly.